Hello, it's Salimi. In today's video, we are using CRC's intake valve and turbo cleaner to see if it can clean carbon buildup on the intake valves and piston head. I will be testing it on my 2017 Toyota Camry. Since it's direct injected, over time it will build up a lot of carbon on the piston head and intake valves. First of all, I will be removing exhaust heat shield so I can get access to the oxygen sensor before testing the product. So here are the things to check before using any carbon cleaning product on your engine. Oxygen sensor, catalytic converter, spark plug, piston head, and the most important, intake valve. So after using CRC's intake valve cleaning product, we can decide where it cleaned the most. Before removing oxygen sensor, disconnect the wire harness and any clip that's holding the wire from twisting. Already loosen up the sensor, it will come out just like this. It looks clean. Whenever you have clean combustion burning, you should have clean oxygen sensor just like this. Otherwise, you have a problem with your engine. Let's use endoscope camera to see how the catalytic converter looks. It looks clean, but some of the holes clog it. Let's see if CRC cleaner will clean these as well. Putting oxygen sensor back. Now we have a good idea how oxygen sensor and catalytic converter looks like before using the cleaner. Next, removing spark plugs. An easy trick, use ignition coils to take the spark plugs out if your socket doesn't have that rubber to hold the spark plugs. The spark plugs looks good and they are in good condition, doesn't have that much carbon buildup on them. I used two endoscope cameras to reach the intake valves to take that picture, but I'm not recommending to do that. Here are the intake valves for one of the cylinders. They have a good amount of carbon buildup, it will be a good thing for our test. And here is the cylinder one piston. We have a good amount of carbon on the edge of the piston. You don't have to remove all the things I did before, I'm just doing that to show you if the cleaner works or not. So for using CRC intake valve cleaner, you can spray it from throttle hose or you can spray it from this brake vacuum hose. It will go to intake valves directly. Alright, let's start the engine to reach idling temperature. I will show you both ways to spray CRC cleaner. First, I will spray it from this hose to clean the throttle body too, but never spray it from filter box. It will mess up the airflow sensor. And the second one is from this brake vacuum hose. It will go to the intake valves directly. Now the engine at the idling temperature. I will take this hose off and put the cleaner straw in and put it back. So it doesn't give me any air intake leaking coat. Next we need to raise the RPM to 2000 and then spray the cleaner. As you can see, I'm not spraying the cleaner continuously. This way it will give the engine time to breathe and not let it shut down. Alright, that's from this side. I sprayed about 30% of the can. Now let's spray it from brake vacuum hose. It will get contact with the intake valves directly. It will take some time to finish all the can with the pattern I showed before. Now we can put the brake vacuum hose back and put the clamp on. Next we need to raise the RPM to push all the remaining cleaner out. Now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna do some hard pulls so we can be sure that all the cleaner is out of the exhaust. Alright, we are back. We're gonna give the engine some time to cool down and then do the checking to see if the cleaner worked or not. Alright, let's start with the oxygen sensor. I don't see any cleaning spot, but let's compare it with the before and after videos. I think before video is cleaner. What do you guys think? Next, the spark plugs. I think they are the same. I don't see any changes. Let's compare it with the before and after videos. I don't see any difference. Here is the catalytic converter. These holes are still clogged. Even these hard pulls didn't clean them. Let's compare it with the before and after videos. No change, it's the same. Here is the intake valves. I was hoping to see bare metal more clearly, but I don't see any big changes. But let's compare it with the before picture. And the last is the piston head. I can see some carbon buildup being removed from the piston edge. But let's compare it with before picture. Here you can see a heavy carbon buildup being removed on the edge of the piston. But still there is a good amount of carbon buildup that I was hoping 
to clean them all. The only reason I think it didn't work because it's safe on a turbo and throttle body and it's not harsh on the carbon buildup, but it didn't clean like it showed on the can. And that was my test on CRC intake valve and turbo cleaner on my 2017 Toyota Camry for cleaning carbon buildup. Hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new before buying this product. That's for this video, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.